for this painting, you are gonna need light blue, white, black, green, yellow, gold, red, pink, and orange. You're going to need your medium flat brush, as well as your medium and small round brushes. Don't forget to have a handy rag and a cup of water. Let's get started. So what I've done is I've taken light blue, white, dark blue, and purple, and I put them on big globs on the side of my canvas. And you know, you can do this with a credit card if you've never seen my card videos before. You can actually pull the color across with a card. But tonight I'm feeling a little bit spicy and I'm gonna use my hand. So with my hand, I'm gonna set my hand right here and I'm gonna pull these colors across. I'm gonna do that over and over and over again until I get a background that I like. With my background totally dry, I'm gonna go in with my medium round brush and white paint. I'm gonna lay out where my cow skull is gonna go. So this is going to be a very odd shape and it's gonna start about a fourth of the way down and I'm gonna make a straight line across. And this straight line is not gonna be really big because we do need to have our horns on there. So from here, I am going to make a small dip in and then out telling you this is a super odd shape and then right here at the bottom I'm gonna make um like a little W sign okay and then I'm gonna kind of do something opposite that on this side so over here I'm gonna go in and then opposite I, I meant to say the same so this is gonna be my cow skull essentially then I'm also gonna lay on here where my horns are gonna go, which are these two divots right here. So these, I am going to make them go off the canvas. And then I'm going to paint all of this space in. So from here, I'm gonna add just a little bit of black paint to the edge of my paintbrush because I'm gonna add some low lights in. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create kind of a jagged line that comes from this point right here down. And if you look, I'm just kind of tapping and pulling along this edge. And here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make this area over here on the left just a little bit lighter. So a little bit gray. So I'm gonna use mostly white paint with just a little bit of black on here. And I am going to darken this up just a little bit. I'm then gonna do the same thing over here on this side but it's gonna go right along the center line. So right down the center line, I just put a little bit of black and I am just gonna pull some of that color over. And then right down here around the bottom, I'm gonna add just a little bit as well. Just put that color on and kind of pull it up. Now 
the last petal I'm going to put it, it's going to be right here underneath where my horns are coming out. So I'm going to wash that brush off and we're going to add some of our cracks and creases in there. Similar to this one, but that was my major one. So I've switched to my itty bitty baby brush and I'm going to water down my black paint. I do like to water my black paint down because sometimes it gets a little bit thick. So I'm going to water it down, add some white to it. So I've got a watered down dark gray. Now with that watered down dark gray, we are going to add our cracks and creases on our skull. So with this, I'm gonna start right here by doing a crack up. And that crack is going to be slightly jagged. Sometimes we see it, sometimes we don't. It is going to walk right up the center of my skull. I'm gonna take my finger with some black paint on it and I'm gonna drop a line right here. Okay, and that is his nostril. Funny, right? So it is just an oval that I created. Um, I don't mind that there's a little bit of that white showing through, but each of these are gonna have a couple little cracks off of them as well. And your cracks do not have to be in the same location as mine. We're also gonna add our eyes in. So same idea, except this time, they are gonna go down this direction. Kind of bigger at the top and point them down. And then we're going to add some cracks on those. brush off and we are going to let this dry when we come back we will be adding in our colors on our horns as well as our flowers I decided to add a couple of cheekbone lines you really can have a lot of uh, lines in this that's what's fun about it now we're gonna go ahead and paint both of our horns in gold So we are going to do a couple different types of leaves. Um, first things first, I'm gonna start with my plain green, nothing in it, just my green, on my medium round brush. And I'm going to add some big, just, you know, boring leaf shapes. I mean, these are super simple. This is a frowny face with a smiley face, but what's gonna happen, it's fun, is when we spice it up with a little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna add a few of these in. 
And the nice thing is, is if you don't love your eye or if you don't love part of your horns, um, this is a great way to cover it up. You can just throw a leaf on top of it, throw a flower on top of it, and all of a sudden it is gone. With a little bit of yellow at the top now. And then we will use gold for our veins at the end. Now you might have more space or a bigger canvas. You can always add extra of these in, but let's talk about another option on leaf real quick. So another leaf is I'm going to use a little bit of my black paint on, with my green. So I've got mostly green and just a little bit of black. And I'm going to make a couple that are tall and skinny. And I want these to be just a little bit darker. You can play around a lot with greens and change them with white and with black. I'm gonna switch to my baby brush with some green paint and I'm going to make a couple of lines so with these three lines what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a mixture of green and yellow so it's gonna be about 50 50 it's gonna be a pretty light green color and I'm going to make small skinny leaves now if you're noticing that too much of your purple pops through if you add just a little bit of white paint to it, it makes it slightly more opaque everybody's paint is just a little bit different so feel free to add a little bit of white to it it'll make it just a little bit more opaque so that you cannot see through it Last one I'm going to add in before I let this dry to add my flowers is I'm going to add some curly cues. So I've got that same light greenish color on there, but I did add some white in to just change the color a little bit. And I'm going to go in, I'm just going to add some curls of green. Um, and if you want to add a little bit of fun to it, take some dark green and put it on that bottom edge. I always like my leaves to have multiple layers to them. Bit of detail to some of these leaves like I'm gonna take a little bit of white right on one of the edges of these dark greens Maybe a little bit of white on the tops of these light greens All right, let's let our greenery dry and when we come back, we will add in our flowers. 
with a fully dry background, we are now gonna add in the rest of our details. So first things first, I have been looking down at the bottom of my animal and I wanna give it more of a jagged base. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm just gonna kinda pull down into like a jagged V formation one side. And of course I will need to add just a touch of black to darken it up. That way I have got just a little bit more of a, an old looking skull. Perfect, let's talk about some flowers. So the flower colors I chose, they were all warm colors. So I did um, red, pink, orange and white i'm sorry in yellow but you can use any color you want first we're going to start with a couple of big roses so i like to use my finger for these and what i do is i choose my main color and i make a gigantic circle and remember you want to cover up all of your leftover white space and then i'll take my second color and i will make another big circle see how that already starts to look like a rose now with this one, however, I'm gonna wipe my finger off and I'm gonna add a third color. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow in there as well. You can make all of them the same color or you can change how you put them on. So this next one, I'm gonna do orange, yellow, and white. I'm gonna make it another really big one right here. I'm gonna fill in my extra space with some smaller ones. After I have those done, I am gonna add some buds in. And so the buds, I'm gonna use my medium flat brush. Same color combinations though. And so I'm gonna make just small little ovals with my medium flat brush. And then add on top of those my second color. And then maybe even my third color. Now let's add the details to our flowers before we finish off our leaves. With my itty bitty baby brush, I'm gonna pick a color that um, does not stand out hugely on my roses and I'm gonna add in my details. So I'm gonna take white paint for this one and what it is is it is going to be just small curved lines going around the center all the way to the outside edge. And we are gonna do that with every one of these roses. If your paintbrush starts to get too full of the other color, just wipe it off, it shouldn't be a big deal. And then for my oval ones, I'm just going to draw a line that goes through the center. It's a curved line right through the center, kind of looks like a coffee bean now. Um, but that will show where the rose is kind of coming to open up. Here's another second line right there. Just add a little Y on there. All right, that's the next step. We're gonna add our half circles on our big flowers and our curved line letter Y's on our small ones.
All right, with my flowers finished, I am gonna go in with my last couple of steps. So first things first, I am going to use gold paint. And with that gold paint, I'm gonna make the veins on my, my leaves. So just a straight line with a couple of little lines pulling off of it. thing you're going to do is you are going to sign your initials in your artwork. So I'm going to put my name right down here in the bottom right corner in a color that shows up. And the only way we can see what you're doing at home is if you post it on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. So be sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, and join our Facebook page. Thanks for painting with me today, friends. Have a great day. Remember, stay safe, stay kind, and stay creative. Bye now.